Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. I was just picking the last of the spring crops, but uh, now that you guys are here, I guess we can actually get going with what I wanted to do today because, oh boy, do I have a lot that I want to get done on the farm. Alrighty, so I went ahead and I grabbed our majestic steed and what I wanted to show you guys is behind me but also in front of me. So I went ahead and I planted the grape seed. I can't remember how much of the vineyard kind of thing. I, I think I showed you the building but I went ahead and I made some more fences and I got some more leaves and whatnot. Um, and then I went ahead and I planted the grapes because I wanted to be able to get grapes by summer. And it is already producing little grapes. I mean, look at them. Look at you Stay there. Stay there, boy. Uh, look at this. Look, can we pick the grapes? Oh, we can pick the grapes. Oh my gosh, you guys, our first grape harvest. And, oh, hello. More, oh, oh, oh my. This is just the, the grape bush that came. Oh, did it grow? Did you see that? Did it grow right in front of our eyes? But yeah, and so uh, this will, I did some research on Growth Craft, which is a mod that adds this. If you guys ever played Life in the Woods Renaissance, it had the Growth Craft mod on there, but uh, that mod pack, I tried so hard to get it to work, but I, I really could never get it to work. But now they have updated it to Growth Craft 3, and it has been revived, and they are working on it, and that is what all of this is. So you, you take a lead, and you put it in your crafting bench, and it gives you like eight rope or something. So then you put the rope here, you plant the grape seed in the middle with three on this side, three on that side, and it will grow up to the little rope and then grow across the rope and so that is what I've done and um, it's, it's looking good you guys but now that we have five more grapes and I have to find my weapons when I was building I put them away and I can't find them okay so now we have more grapes you can take the grapes that you pick and you can make seeds with them so we can take this little grape seed here and then go one two three and then boom in the middle and then one two three on that side and that little grape will now grow into a lovely majestic amazing vine just like this one the next order of business is i wonder if citron can jump this i i, mean, I know he's a good jumper but uh let's see can he jump it oh he can <gasps> One, two, three blocks. Oh my goodness. Our horse is amazing. He protect, he attack, but most of all, he jump like heck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he jumped three blocks. That's crazy. You're the best jumper I've ever had. Uh, I went ahead and I planted a lot of wheat. <laughs> a lot of wheat. You guys, look at all of the wheat. The sweet, sweet wheat that we can trade with Felicity for uh, emeralds. But mostly this is just an aesthetic thing because I've always wanted to have this like, just this gorgeous like field, just golden wheat. I mean, seriously, I, the texture, you stay there, boy. The texture pack that I have on is like when you come out to the middle of the wheat field, look at this. You can just stand out here in the middle of the wheat with the golden summer wheat gently swaying from side to side. It is beautiful. Alrighty, let's put Citron in here with the chickens. It's a good boy. You stay there. Don't cause any trouble for the chickens. Yes, I know. I will be right back. But now that we have all of those grapes, what else are you going to do with all of them grapes except for to make some wine, you guys? So that is what we're going to be working on today. We are going to be making the fermenting barrels that we need to uh, make the wine. So this is all the stuff that Growth Craft adds. There are other grape seeds. We need to find some red. We have right now, we have purple grape seeds. We need to find green grape seeds and we need to find red grape seeds. But in order to do that, we have to break vines. So that we need to find a jungle or something for that. It also adds apple trees, which Pam's Harvest Craft adds as well. But what we really, really need is a fermentation barrel. And then we also need a fruit press. I believe what we do is we press the grapes in the fruit press to get liquid. And then we put that liquid into a fermentation barrel and then that ferments it into wine. We can even like do bees, we can do honey, we can do honey mead. We can, there's so, so, so much. I also wanna make fish traps, you guys. I really wanna make fish traps so that that way maybe we can get some sweet loot, but 
uh, first we need a fruit press, which is going to be a piston, which is just iron, it's, uh, it's cobblestone, wood, iron, that. Okay, that, that should be relatively easy to make. Oh yeah, and if you notice, I have a lot more levels. I actually went to the nether, believe it or not, and I mined up a ton, an absolute ton of quartz. Actually, let's grab a few. Uh, so that we can make a few fermentation barrels. But yeah, I mined up, let's see, can I show you guys? Look at all that quartz, you guys. Look at all the quartz. I have two full stacks of quartz. Uh, and then we have like a half a stack here of like what this can hold. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's madness how much quartz I got. But okay, so then it's like, what was it? Like four per one? So then that's like a 16? if my math is correct, which it never is. And then we need probably about, we actually, I think we need, I think we need more, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it later. Okay. Uh, so we need to go ahead. We need to make the pistons. Boom. One piston. Oh, can we not like, okay, sure. I'll do it by hand. There we go, four pistons, and now we just need some more iron and some more, uh, oh, it's late, let's sleep. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize how late it was getting, oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully nothing, no creepers hope spawned out by Citron, right? No, I don't see anything. There was a surprising lack of mobs that are like, you know, like hostile mobs that spawn around our farm. It must just be that because it's that well lit. But okay, let's grab a little bit more iron and then a little bit more of, oh, that's out. And then a little bit more of the planks. Why are these different? Are these different? They are different. Wow, what am I doing with my life? Okay. Iron in the middle, planks on the bottom, planks on the top. Uh, what am I doing wrong? No, 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 no. It's the other way around. Sable, 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 sable. What are you doing? Okay, iron on the bottom, iron on the top, and then planks in the middle. There we go, that's four. I actually think I want it to be an odd number because what I'm thinking is stacking three there and then like one, uh, what if I, no, I would need to be four on the bottom. So say, I, I don't know you guys, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty here, we, no creepers? No, okay, good. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've lit this place up 100% yet. I think so, I think so. So we did add a little bit of decoration in here. No, my weapons are not in, what did I do with my pickaxe and all my weapons? Gosh, you guys, I have no idea. I am getting slightly concerned for my pickaxe, my amazing cobble gobble. But okay, did I, I made three, I made, yeah, okay, I made three fruit presses and let's, the fruit presses. What do we want to do with the fruit presses? Do we want to put like one here, here, and here, or do we want to space them out? Ooh, questions, questions. Either way, I gotta go find cobble gobble. Ah, there we go. All of them, I think I like them spaced out, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, I think they look a lot better spaced out. And then the fermentation of barrels, uh, I think we can, oh, we already had them in our hotbar, perfect, okay. I think, like, one here, 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 and here. I think I like that. And then we could definitely, I mean, or I could put them along this wall and like stack them up along this wall so that they don't block the windows. I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to play around with it, you guys. But, so let me show you really quick. We are gonna have to make a lever because what you do is you put a lever on the side of this and then that activates the piston and then you literally just go lever, 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 lever and then like it, it, it presses the grapes. But yeah, so what you do is you put the grapes into here and then you have to get a lever, like I said, and do that and then wine but uh <laughs> i forgot i do need to make a lever so back to the windmills storage silo thing to make some levers while we're out here look at that you guys we have more grapes this is hello mr grape uh this is fantastic i can't believe how well all of our grapes are just this, this little grape plant is giving us so many grapes this is just great 
Okay, and so then what we do is we place the lever right there. We put the grapes in, we do the lever, and boom! Boom! It's going to start pressing all of our grapes into purple grape, young purple grape juice. And on occasion, for some reason, you get bone meal. I don't know why you get bone meal from this process, but you do. I'm, but I'm totally fine with it. And let's put our bed down and sleep before things start spawning. But now it is time. I think we should go ahead and we need to start planting our fruit trees so that we can get some fruit before the end of the year. And then eventually we are going to have to plant our apple trees. So this is the area where I placed all of these grass blocks to kind of symbolize where we should plant all of the trees. So you want to plant them at least like four blocks away from like any other tree. Just the Payne's Harvest Craft ones, they have a hard time growing if you plant them too close to anything else. So let's get going putting down all of these trees. So like that's going to be a cherry tree. This one's going to be a cherry tree. There we go, you guys. That is all of them planted. One of the plums already kind of matured. I think we can already get plums. We can! We can already get plums from it. Oh my goodness. Um, And then the grapefruit tree, though, uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But look at all of the fruit on this one tree. This is a really good tree. I don't normally get trees that have this many little fruits on them. Like, normally, you know, it's kind of like, oh, like the apple trees and stuff. They'll have, like, two or three little apples, like, spots for apples. But that is a beautiful beautiful, beautiful pomegranate tree. Good morning, Felicity. I am going to go out today with everybody and we are going to make some fish traps. Do you like fish, Felicity? Or are you more like, a, are you like a shellfish person? Or are you like a fish person? Me personally, I like all kinds of fish. I like shellfish. I like normal fish. I like all the fish, just all of the shrimp, every, everything, everything, fish, yum. But let's go! Time for a quick plane. Oh, don't even give me the- No! No, all of you. No puppy eyes. Oh my gosh. You guys are the worst beggars ever, but Rue, you should come with me today. So that means I'm actually gonna have to bring a little bit of food for the Rue. Let's grab some cooked chicken for the Rue, even though Rue in real life actually can't eat chicken because she's like super allergic. Okay, so, uh, Citron, you can just hang out in here for today. What do you think about that, buddy? Yeah? Yeah? You good? Okay. Okay. So I definitely want to go and make some fish traps. And so there are actually, I think, three different mods that add fish traps that I have installed in this little mod pack that I put together. Come on, Rue, you can do it. Teleport. There you go, good girl. Okay. Not you, Rue. Not real life, Rue. Um, real life, Rue is behind me. Like, what? What? Why are you talking to me? Okay, but um, so what I want to do is I want to make some fish traps. There are tons of different types of traps as you can see. Um, these are the primal core fish traps. Then there is a Pam's Harvest Craft fish trap. My goodness, say that five times fast. And then there is a growth craft fish trap. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time saying all these things? Okay, so the Pam's Harvest Craft one doesn't seem too bad. I think it's honestly just string, a fishing rod, a chest, and some sticks. That really isn't too bad. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go, I'm going to make a few fish traps, and then I will catch up with you guys when we are down at the riverside putting them in the water. Good morning! So I have crafted up the fish traps for us. So we can go ahead straight down to the river. Come on little Rue, you can come with me. I definitely need to work on bringing Rue places with me more, you guys. I'm a pretty neglectful dog owner. Okay, so uh, I think what I want to do is I want to place them somewhere easily accessible. So like, may ooh, those are pretty. So like maybe if we place a lot of the traps like over and around this particular area. So I have the bait for the primal core. I did go ahead and make the primal core fish traps and the Pam's Harvest Craft fish traps. I only have the bait ready for the primal core ones. I will go ahead and I will make the bait for the Pam's Harvest Craft ones off camera so you guys don't have to watch me grind for it. There we go. The last of the bait has been loaded into the traps. It is now... Where is Rue? Seriously, I thought I asked her to come with... Oh, she's over there. She decided she didn't want to have any water fun. Not today. Fair enough, Rue. Fair enough. Okay, so now we have to go ahead and place the Pam's Harvest Craft ones, which I think I'm going to do one here. Um, 
bum, 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 bum. Maybe one here. We have our grapes growing. We're pressing them into fruit juice. We have our fish traps set and ready to hopefully, crossing your fingers, people, hopefully catch us some mending books. But I think that is actually where I'm going to have to leave you guys for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps me out and lets me know that you definitely want me to keep making homestead videos. Your guys' support has already been so, so great, but keep it up, you guys. And I I will see you in the next episode of Homestead. And if you don't want to miss the next episode of Homestead, be sure to subscribe. Until then, goodbye.